Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a short circular column subjected to combined axial load and uniaxial bending. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a short circular column of diameter 400 mm. So the diameter D is given as 400 mm to support a factored axial load of 810 kN. The factored load PU is given as 810 kN. We can convert that into Newton with a factored movement of 85 kN meter. The factored movement is given as 85 kN meter. We can convert that into Newton millimeter. 1K is 1000. 1 meter is 1000 millimeter. 1000 into 1000, it will be 10 power 6. Adopt M20 grade concrete and FE 415 bars. So FCK is 20 and FOE is 415. For our own comfort, let us keep the effective cover D dash as a 40 millimeter. So 40 by 400, we will get 0 0.1. Now let us open the book SP16, chart number 56. It is in the page number 141. We have selected this chart because we have circular cross section and D dash upon D is 0 0.1. From the chart, we can find these two terms. For PU upon FCK D square, we have got 0 0.253. Here we have 0 0.2. This one will be 0 0.22, this one will be 0 0.24, this one will be 0 0.26 and this one will be 0 0.28. 0 0.253 comes between 0 0.24 and 0 0.26. So in between we have to draw a line. For MU upon FCK D cube we have got this. This is 0 0.05. This one is 0 0.06 and this one is 0 0.07. 0 0.0664 comes between these two. Both of the lines intersecting in this point. This point is approximately in the curve of 0 0.06. So P upon FCK is 0 0.06. We know the value of FCK 20. So for the percentage of steel, we will get 1.2%. Now let us find the gross area. We know that it is a circular section. The area formula is pi d square upon 4. Here the diameter is 400. For the gross area, we will get this. Now let us find the area of the steel. We know the percentage of steel. 1.2 1 1.2 1 upon 100 into gross area we will get area of the steel then to find the number of the bars and the diameter of the bars we can use the trial and error method we have to get an area approximately equal to this area and a little more than this area i have tried with the six numbers of 18 millimeter dia bars i have got an area approximately equal to this area and a little more than this area. So let us provide six numbers of 18 millimeter diameter bars. We know how to design the diameter of the lateral ties and the pitch. We have seen in the previous videos. Let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 millimeter at 280 millimeter center to center. Here you can see the cross section. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.